We are in business now, baby. Hey y'all, it's Brandon, your gay internet BFF, and today we are here to do a very exciting unboxing. But if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello, welcome. On my channel, I post a variety of videos on a number of fabulous topics, including fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, unboxings like today. I also do planner content and pretty much anything else that suits my fancy. But today, like I said, we've got a very exciting unboxing to do from Coachtopia. I've been keeping track of the Coachtopia website pretty much since they launched, and I really like their concept of recycling material and taking excess material from their retail ventures and making them into bags and selling them. I haven't really seen a whole lot on there that I thought would work for me. I have seen some of the bags in person and really like the material build and quality. It seems on par with more of the uh, coach retail side of things. But again, none of the silhouettes really worked for me. But when this bag dropped last week, I knew I had to have it. It looks so interesting. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm excited to see how this is all packaged up because I love how the Coach Retail Store does their uh, packaging, but we know that this is a more sustainable concept. I don't know if they're actually being as sustainable as we would like them to. All right, okay, okay. Looks like we've got a dust bag. So let's just get the box out of the way. Eat that off into the corner. Uh, I will say I like this um, canvasy material a lot better than the retail bags um, dust cover. It's that really kind of satiny feel. I don't really like the Coach Retail dust bags, um, so I do like this. I think it presents better. In front of it just says Coach Topia. The back of it says, Welcome to Coach Topia, a world in proud, nope, a world in progress. Join us on the road to circularity. I just read that upside down and backwards, so y'all should be real proud of me. Okay, okay. So let's get into it. So it's not fully retail wrapped. That's okay. I don't need it. All right. Ooh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. This is the bag that I picked up. This is the Coach Topia Alter Ego shoulder bag in checkerboard. I went in the black colorway. That's interesting. Uh, I don't get that. Hold on. Oh, I see. So they ship it. So you do get two lengths of strap material, which I'm um, glad. We're going to take off the crossbody strap for right this second. All right. So the interior is a black cotton linen uh, material. There's one pocket along one side with a button closure. The bag features uh, silver hardware, a top zip, and it comes with, and I'm very excited, it comes with the resin Coach Topia hang tag and a regular um, Coach hang tag that has the Coach Topia symbol on the other side. It has this kind of checkerboard stitch on both sides, but the bottom is actually a single piece of leather and then on the sides, there is additional strapping not associated with the shoulder or crossbody strap here, which I think is a nice detail that will add a little bit more structure and stability to the bag. I think once you um, start putting it on things, that extra wide piece of leather that's one piece on the bottom will hopefully let it sit a little bit. It is an absolutely buttery soft, smooshy bag and I love the texture. Now that I've kind of flattened it out, I think I'm gonna have to stuff some things in here, show you guys what all it'll fit. My bag of the week is my lovely Lana 23, which you guys know will hold a decent amount. If you haven't seen my video about the Lana 23, my love letter to this bag, I will have it linked below. This is still one of my top five bags and I absolutely love using it. It is such a nice bag. So let's just transfer over some of the things 
from the Lana into here. First thing in the bag is of course my Coach Corner Zip Wristlet. This is from the newest collection for Halloween. I've got a red Michael Kors um, card case. I have two lippies because one is almost empty. It's the time again to keep tissues with me. I have a adorable cat card case slash coin case. This is from last year's Halloween collection. And I have like all my rewards cards in here and coin. And then I have a mirror, battery bank, and some mints. All right, so that is everything that's in my Lana. Definitely has still a lot of space still in this bag. I'm gonna find some bigger items to throw in this um, in addition to what's already in there because I think that this will actually fit like a bunch more stuff. So I don't have any of my books up here, but I do have Austin's books and I just took one of his delicious dungeon um, graphic novels off the shelf. I also grabbed my little compact Safiano Filofax, and I bet you both of these things are gonna fit in here. So just see if, I mean, we're obviously gonna need to kind of scooch some things aside, but this is a standard height book. And yeah, no problem getting that in there. And then my planner as well. Yep, no problem getting all those in there. I actually have a, a soft um, Ray-Bans sunglass case. So book, sunglasses, planner, all the other things. Yeah, and there's still room. It's a tight squeeze then with all that in there, but wow, this bag fits a ton. I like that. I like the way it's fitting. I like the way it's looking. It's very understated. I will say that it doesn't scream luxury bag. It feels nice. It looks nice. The material that they've used looks nice, but it's not like in your face. The branding is very simple. So first impressions on the fit. There's a lot of stuff that can fit in here. It is pretty stretchy. I think you can get a lot of what you need to carry in here, but I'm really, really impressed with the capacity. So let's show you guys what this bag looks like on the body. Okay guys, so this is the crossbody strap at the very, very last holes on both sides. And it fits over comfortably with what I'm wearing currently. But if I was wearing a big jacket, there's no way that this is going crossbody. And so I kind of think that if you are a bigger person like I am, this might not be a really great crossbody bag for all seasons. I think. Like I said, for a summer fit like this, it'll fit. But if you're any um, larger or, you know, your, your body is built a little bit different, I'm not sure that this crossbody strap is really going to be that great. Now, I can take it off and put it as a shoulder bag. I think the shoulder bag looks great. It's a nice look. Uh, I am a little bit disappointed in the length of the crossbody strap. All right, so first impressions on this bag. It is a really nice feeling leather and I like the way that it looks. I think I can style this really, really nicely and easily because it is kind of basic. I wouldn't say that it's a five out of five for me. I would say it's probably like a three or a four if we're being completely honest. I think that there are a few things they could have added um, maybe to elevate the bag just a little bit more, perhaps a thicker lining on the interior. I'm not in love with the crossbody top handle uh, attachments. I think that they could have gone with something more like the Juliet and you would have a little bit more um, flexibility when it came to how you carried this bag. But the shape and the squish and the texture of it makes it a really, really interesting 
um, addition to my collection. So I'm definitely going to be keeping it and using it and trying to style around it. And I will definitely keep you guys in the loop on how that goes. But I definitely think that there could have been a few things they did differently. Alrighty y'all. Well, I think that's all I have for you this week. I hope that you enjoyed this little bag unboxing first impressions. If you did definitely let me know down in the comments. As always, if you want to keep up with me and my nonsense, you can over on TikTok and Instagram, where the handle is the same as the channel. It's at BBPDX. I hope you all are having a fabulous week. And until the next one, guys, I will see you later. Goodbye.